If you're in the market for a new pressure washer and you are interested in something for not just home use, but also your car, then this new Ava Easy P40 may just be the very machine you need. So why do I think this is an important machine? Well, it's one of the first ones I've seen on the market to actually consider car care as part of the use. Yes, most people will be interested in a pressure washer to use around the home, and this thing is absolutely no exception to that, but they have considered the fact that pressure washers are a really important part of your car care and detailing regime. So they have made some choices on this machine for those specific reasons. Firstly, it comes with a bunch of accessories which are going to be useful for your car. It will come with the usual turbo lance, and I'll show these all later on. But you've got the turbo nozzle there for doing things like your brickwork and you know heavy duty masonry, that kind of thing. You've also got a variable nozzle. This will be for use on your car, wide and narrow to tackle difficult jobs and your general rinse down. Plus, they've got a snow foam lance with it. The extra bits you see down here, this is part of their premium foam cannon kit. This is an optional extra but it's definitely useful for someone like me really into the car care scene. I'll talk more about these in a little bit. First of all, we'll go over the main spec of the machine. It will run at a maximum of 120 bar. For those of you who work in PSI, that's just over 1,700 PSI. It has a 1,700 watt motor inside and it runs at a maximum of 390 liters per hour flow through the machine. It comes with a 12 meter hose on the reel here as standard, so you don't need to upgrade anything. There's a couple of other nice features. The fact that the lance that it comes with, this long extension, this comes off, and this is actually what I would choose as an upgrade, a stubby gun. This has been really, really well thought out. Let's get a bit closer into this and look at some of these in a bit more detail. So here's the machine itself. It's wide at the bottom and narrow towards the top. That keeps the center of gravity low making sure that it has the least chance possible of toppling over. The reel is built into the side of the body, whereas some of Ava's other machines, the reels are up on the handle stock. So this keeps the machine more squat and compact. They offer a 10 year warranty on this unit and they sell replacement parts and service parts at a non-profit basis. This is great, they support the right to repair, so you can keep this thing going for a long time. All you have to do is service it once every five years and you can get the parts directly from Ava, like I said, at no profit cost. Big chunky handle there on the top. There's also another handle section lower down to grab it. There's the power switch, which is useful. It means you don't have to worry about having wet hands. You'll still be able to get a grab on that. There's the lower grab handle as well. Very, very simple and straightforward. Let's have a look at those accessories. This is the turbo tool. This nozzle here, this is the one used for brickwork and masonry. Really cool looking actually. The little icons on the side there, they show you what you should be using this lance for. It's compatible with anything from the P30 to the P60. Very simple and straightforward. This is the Vario Lance nozzle or variable nozzle got two nozzles on there we'll show you how that works in a bit same connector it runs maximum 16 megapascals whatever they are and 40 degrees maximum temperature for the water going through it and it even shows you what nozzle you should be using for what type of job very very clever that on the side there it shows you the difference for the nozzle settings all the way one way for narrow all the way the other way for wide and in the middle for something in between. I'll show you that in use in just a minute. Now here you can see the turbo tool will not lock with the stubby gun. This is a legal requirement because those turbo tools are very aggressive. So it will not lock into that stubby gun. It will only lock into the end of the zoom lens. Here's the comparison. The variable nozzle locks in absolutely fine. No problem there. You'll be able to use both of these on the end of the zoom lance. Here's the stubby gun up close itself. 
The hose clicks into the bottom there. I'll show you that in just a minute. And this is the zero force trigger. You can see that little black bit that sticks out. I'll show you how that works. There's a safety trigger on the bottom there, a safety switch stops you accidentally activating it. You press the other side to unlock it, but there's also a little safety tab there on the side. So just in case you accidentally put this down, it won't easily disengage that safety lock. It's quite clever that. And that's the locking ring. Although I screwed it too far one way, the wrong way, and it got a bit stiff and stuck there. So you twist it all the way to the right to lock it and all the way to the left to unlock. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Very simple and straightforward. It's quite lightweight as well. Now there's the zero force trigger. If you squeeze it in all the way and then hold that little black trigger, it'll hold it in place with the minimal amount of force. I'm using my pinky here. I'll show you that with water running through in a minute, but it makes it really good to avoid things like fatigue on your hand for holding the trigger down. Here's the zoom lance. 60 centimeters as standard goes all the way up to 96. You press the button, twist and pull, and it's really long and you can adjust it anywhere in between and stop it. So you can get it to exactly the length you need, whether you're working down low or up high. Unlock that collar and it pops off. The snow foam lance is exactly the same. Twist on and lock it into place. Very simple and straightforward. Nice and compact. Now I don't want to call this a snow foam bottle, it's a snow foam cup. It's got percentages and dilution ratios on one side and measurements on the other side in decaliters. It goes up to six decaliters, that's 600 milliliters, tenths of a liter. There's also a second thread on the inside of the head of this that allows you to add a smaller bottle, like a Coke bottle, in there so you can have a second bottle with a different solution of something without having to go and buy an extra one of those cups. The head itself has a dial on the side here. It runs from one to nine, and that's to increase the flow of the snow foam into the water. And there's the infinitely adjustable fan to jet setting. And look at this. How clever is this? You don't ever have to worry about putting your snow foam lance down when you're not using it. You can just hook it into its own little house. The zoom lance can sit up on the top of the handle there and you can put the stubby gun into the little holster at the back. Again, you're not putting anything down on the ground. The zoom lance itself even has its own little cutout for that button. Here's the patio cleaner. It runs from the P25 to the P60, so it runs lower pressure machines. Same connector, there's a handle on the front there as well that allows you to hold it up against a wall, for example. There's the spinning nozzle underneath, and you can see there are a bunch of brushes up on the front toe of the machine and brushing all around the edges there. This will make it cleaner when you're using. Here's the included water filter. This is your hose filter. So simply take that, screw it into the inlet, get it hand tight, that's all you need, and you're ready to connect your hose pipe. All the connections for this, as far as water and power, are all on the back of the unit facing where it would be coming out of your garage, for example. And there's the rotating clip at the top there that allows you to take the power cord off nice and quickly. Simply rotate it back up again, and it's easy to wrap your cord again. By the way, that tag on the side tells you do not use a stopping hose connector. Use a little clip there to keep the cable in place, and that's simple. The handle folds away as well for making it neat. There's a little button on the top of the side of the handle there, I'll show you. Tilt the machine forward, give that a click, pull the handle down, rotate it around, and slide it back in. Simplicity in itself, and there's the lower grab handle. And it's not particularly heavy. So here's how you connect your hose pipe. Simply connect the hose, click it into that hole to remove it, pull that little trigger at the front backwards to release it. That's it, simple. Speaking of the hose, here it is, like I said, it's 12 meters long. That is much longer than you think, and I'm pretty sure it's the longest that you can buy for the consumer market right now, and it has it already installed. To tidy it up, it is just the opposite. Wind it away, and it has a stopper on the end of the hose, even if you disconnect it from your stubby gun there, it'll stop it from being lost in the reel. So here's the zoom lance. 
we're going to attach the turbo tool to that. It will attach to this, but it will not attach to the stubby gun. Lock it into place, then press the button, twist and extend. And this is properly long. Like I said, 96 centimeters. I'm running it here at its full extension and honestly I've got to lift my arms right up because it's far too long for me. You can see the turbo tool there doing what it's supposed to do. I'm going to shorten this down. So I'm just using it at the standard length there. And that's absolutely perfect for me. But if you're a taller person or perhaps you're working at height or things a little bit out of reach, that zoom lance will really help you out there. If you're going to be doing this for a long time, that zero force trigger is really going to be a godsend for you. Your hands will thank you. Now here I've swapped over to the patio tool. Twist in, lock it into place. Really, really straightforward. Lay it down. Now don't use this at too high an angle. Don't have your gun pointing straight down at the ground because it can grip. Those brushes are quite stiff and you can see I'm struggling to move it there. You have to lower down your angle, make it a more shallow angle and then it'll glide along. But this here allows you to cover a larger area and also stops your feet from getting wet. Really, really useful. And remember this comes in the box with this kit. You don't have to pay extra for it in this bundle for £240 that comes with it. Here I've got it at its full extension on the zoom lance now. And you can see there it's doing an epic job. You can see just how much grime is being lifted. You can see it flowing out of the front of that patio cleaner there. Just look at the front here. You see all the grime running down. Isn't that brilliant? And if you've never seen one of these things in action and how they work, well, here you go. Now here's the zero force trigger in action. Squeeze the trigger in all the way until you feel it click and then just hold that little black tab. We're running this at full pressure and I can hold that with just my pinky and the merest amount of pressure, tiny, really, really simple, really friendly for your hands. So extended periods of use you really aren't going to feel the strain. There's the 20 degree setting on this nozzle. There's the middle setting. It's actually split between the 20 and the 60. Twist it all the way the other way and you get to the 60 degree wide nozzle. You can attach that onto the end of the zoom lance as well. Now the wider mode isn't particularly effective on something like this, but it could be useful for sweeping debris away. The middle mode, well, this is more of a sort of soaking, a gentle spray of water. And the 20 degree, you will be able to use this, especially if you're trying to do something in a detailed area like edges, for example, just like this. Using it on the car, the 60 degree mode is particularly useful. You don't want to be blasting too much pressure in one concentrated area. So I really like this for giving the car a pre-rinse down. This is in the zoom lance here. I am limited to my movement by having this longer lance on, but I'll show you with the stubby gun in a second. Switching on the fly to the 20 degree mode to get into wheel arches. Good for blasting off things like bird poo. And this is the mixed mode, which is more of a gentle rinse down. Useful if you've just finished washing the car and you want to rinse off the suds. And here it is in action on the stubby gun. And as you'll see here, I get much more flexibility for getting in around the wheel arch, getting into wheel crevices in between spokes and so on. This is a very, very common upgrade for people who have pressure washers that they use with their cars. Very, very popular. So this is coming with it out the box. And look at this. I can go all the way around the car and more 
with that 12 meter hose. I've looped around it. Here's the snow foam cup. Put in your snow foam, dilute it how you like it. We've gone for 100 milliliters of snow foam to 600 milliliters. Well, 500 milliliters of water to make it 600 milliliters in total. Screw it on, or at least make sure you get the threads lined up first. My glamorous assistant helping me there. And simply twist and lock it into place. Now here, I'm cycling through using that dial on the side, starting at one and working my way up to see how much thicker the snow foam gets as I keep increasing the amount of snow foam that flows through it. I'm steadily moving upwards and as you'll see, the snow foam gets thicker and thicker and thicker and gets really thick towards the end. So it's very, very adjustable and you can get it just how you like it. Look at that, it's like double cream. And it's a very, very effective snow foam lance. For something that's included in the box, it's a really, really good one. I honestly cannot argue with this one. And that smaller cup on the front means it's a little bit lighter than carrying around a litre. If you don't do huge amounts of snow foaming, then this is great, ready to go. You don't need anything else. But if you want to, you can upgrade, like I said, to the premium foam cannon kit. I'll show you that in a second. Here's how to clean it out. I simply tip out the snow foam solution, blast in some water there. That's to rinse out the cup. Make sure there's nothing left in there. Tip that out and then fill it back up again with clean water and then simply drop the pickup pipe in there and run it and that will suck through clean water and clean out the lance head. Simple. To put it away, again, I don't need to put it on the floor. It's in its own little holster. Nothing is on the floor. Switching over to the multi-use nozzle. And here, 20 degrees is perfect for something like blasting off dead bugs from the front of your car once your snow foam has softened them up. It's a common problem at this time of year. So if you need that extra bit of bite, 20 degrees is perfect. Switch it over to 60 degrees. And this is more for your gentle rinse down for removing suds from your shampoo or for getting up close without worrying too much about concentrating that pressure in one area. You can see I am holding the hose out of the way because of where it connects to the gun. It's a bit further forward, it's not right back into the handle. So I'm just holding the hose just to make sure I don't drag the hose across the paint and accidentally scratch the paint. And this is the mixed mode, which is gentle pressure. Great for a post wash rinse off of your soapy suds. So it's got two outputs on it, all the way one way, that's the 20 degree nozzle. And twisting it halfway splits the pressure between the 20 degree and the 60 degree. Twist it all the other way and there's the 60 degree. So it splits it, it halves it, it slows down that pressure a bit but also gives you a nice wide jet. Very clever idea, that. Now, if you already have a Carter machine, don't worry, all of your accessories that you may have bought, if you're into the Carter ecosystem, they all work with this. It means it's a direct upgrade for a Carter. This one is my quick release upgrade because I have a bunch of snow foam lances which use the quarter inch quick release. So if you have a Carter or you have something like that, you can buy adapters to make sure things work. But Carter accessories work out of the box. Here's the premium foam cannon kit. Those are not protein shakers. Those are snow foam lance bottles or cups. And those lids aren't just a funky design of lid. There's a second feature to them. There are measurements on the side of the cup there. We'll get a closer look at those in just a second. But the lid also becomes a base. So if you're gonna put it down on the ground, it's gonna give it a bit more stability wider base and also there's a rubber seal around the top of the lid there so when you close it up if you've got some product left in there it will not leak out 
Here are the measurements on the side, again, in dilution ratios and percentages on the one side. And on the opposite side, decaliters all the way up to 10, which is one liter. So each decaliter, that's a tenth of a liter, 100 milliliters. But if you need to measure out something less than 100 milliliters, you've got this little stepped set of rings on the inside, the lowest being 2.5, which is 25 milliliters, then 50, 75, and the top of that ring is 100 milliliters. So it helps you measure things out without looking on the side. So here, we're just using 100 milliliters of this shampoo, filling up with water. We've switched off the pressure to make sure we don't blast in and turn that into a really foamy cup. Then attach this, and what you'll find with this premium phone kit, the head on this is exactly the same as the head that comes with the pressure washer. There's no difference other than it's got a blue insert on the back of it. But otherwise, it's identical part numbers. But you've got the extra large cups for more solution and the lids, which can also be bases. There you can adjust the angle you can see there going from narrow to wide. So it's very, very flexible. Really good kit, worthwhile having. And you can even just drop it on top of the handle there if you need. And here's the cup lid as a base. It adds a bit of stability, though not to say that it's super unstable, but you can see it wobbles a bit more there. And with that, it wobbles less. Now here, coming to the tidy up, after switching off the water and the power supply, I'm releasing the pressure in the hose and then disconnecting it. Let that run out a bit. Drop the gun into the holster at the back. And you can see here that the hose is a bit coiled and a bit messy. I wanted to see if this would reel in and snag at all. And you can see it was reeling in a bit, but then eventually it did snag. However, it wasn't difficult to fight with this to get it to run in without difficulties. It's much easier to work with than something like a wire reinforced hose. There is something to be said for a flexi hose. I have fought too often with other hoses. Then for the tidy up, disconnect your nozzles, put them into the little holster areas, reconnect the zoom lance to the stubby gun, drop that into the hole at the back and the clip at the front, and that's it, tidy. Wrap up your cord, put it into the little snag there, and then roll away. So after putting this through its paces this weekend and last weekend, I've been having a good fun playing with this, trying it out and seeing how flexible it is. I genuinely think this is one of the best value machines for that flexibility. The fact that you can use it for your home and for your car if you're serious about that kind of thing. A great value bundle that comes with extra nozzles, the patio cleaner tool, the really good, there it goes, the really good quality foam lance as standard, so you don't really need to upgrade this machine. And I've bought upgrades that would be compatible to what this machine already comes with. The really long hose, the multi-angle nozzle. Then there are upgrades available to you if you want. You can buy dedicated nozzles, you can buy the upgraded foam cannon bundle, the premium one. That is a cracking idea if you're serious about your car care, the ability to have multiple products ready to go on your shelves and the really easy use with the massive cups. This is fantastic. I really genuinely think it is. I wouldn't say so if I didn't think it was good. For £239.90, I don't think you can go wrong with this. And honestly, this offers some things that other machines simply don't. It's very, very clever, it's well thought out, and I'm a real fan of it. If you want to purchase one, there will be a link down in the description below where it'll take you to the AVA website. It's not AVA, it's AVA. I had to ask about that one as well. So go there, check it out, check out the easy range. Also check out all the other machines they have in the range. There's maybe something else there that could be more suited to what you're after. But I'm a fan of this one, go and check that out. If you've enjoyed this video though, please smash that like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next video uploads. In the meantime though, I've been Specky. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.